We're gonna start this video with the menuchi. Menuchi means the strike to the head. Men means the face of the opponent. One very important point here is to hit your hits, your strikes with the kick and tie all together. Ki means spirit, ken means sword, and tai means body. All these three has to be together to be counted as a point in kendo. Also, another important thing is after hit, you have to keep a good zanshin. Zanshin means you keep your mind. That means you don't lose your mind to the opponent. You always keep attention to the opponent. Here's a clip from part one of our video. Seiga no kamae is one of the most important kamae in kendo. First of all, before doing the seiga no kamae, stretch your back, open your chest, and then draw your sword, your shinai. At this time, you have to be relaxing your shoulders again, holding the shinai as you're holding an egg. Usually the shinai it's heavier on the tip, so it's like holding the shinai with the left left hand so the tip won't fall, and then holding with the right hand gently. Do not put extra power on your hands. Make sure your wrists are in, not open. Always keep your wrist inside. The tip of the shinai should be about the height of your throat. Not too low, not too high. But just about your throat. Now I'm gonna use some slow motion pictures to go through every detail of the movement of a big man. Since we're practicing big man right now, make sure you do a big motion. Bring your arm, bring your hands over your head to a position where you can see the full body of the opponent. Make sure you don't bend your elbows, don't put any extra power on your elbows or arms. Just rotate the joint of your shoulders to bring the shinai in a natural way from your kamai. As you make the impact, Make sure your body moves in together. And then when you hit, make sure your both arms are straight. And then your left foot, right after your right foot hits the ground, your left foot has to follow really quick. And then go through the middle of the opponent. If the opponent stays in front of you, just go over the person. He's gonna try to get away from you. After hit, if you're going through the right side of the opponent, make sure you turn counterclockwise so that you never show your back to the opponent. Keep a good zanshin and then turn around to the kamai. That's how it should be. A good man. This is another view from the side. Here, I want to emphasize the strike. Make sure the shinai and the foot land on the floor and on the head of the opponent at the same time. Make sure you're hitting the man with the proper part of the shinai. Don't hit too close. Make sure you hit with the tip of the shinai. Again, after hit, go through straight and turn around quickly after you break the eye. Here are some points that you should be careful when striking the man. First of all, every hit in Kendo, you should be hitting with your left hand. Do not hit with your right hand. If you hit with your right hand, the body is gonna turn to the left and your strike is not gonna be as accurate as hitting with the left hand.
Next point is that you have to always keep your body straight. Make sure every time you hit, you're not hitting with your upper body. Since you're striking with your hands, people tend to hit bending forward, trying to reach the opponent from far. But actually, that's gonna make your strikes less accurate. Try to hit with your back straight. Next point is your footwork. As soon as your right foot lands on the floor, you have to bring your left foot quickly. These two examples show that if you bring your left foot quickly, your body tends to be straight. Next point is try to step forward, not upwards. When you bring your right foot up, Looks like you're stepping forward far, but you're actually stepping around the same spot. But if you bring your right foot closer to the floor, then you can reach further. Here, I'm gonna explain about the kote uchi. Koteuchi, the movements are basically the same as the men, but you're striking a target which is closer to yourself. So you can start from a distance a little bit farther than the men. And also, since it's a lower target, make sure you straight your hand and hit the kote position. One thing you have to notice here is that since you're hitting the kote and going through the left side of the opponent, make sure you turn your body clockwise to avoid showing your back to the opponent. Again, keep your body straight and keep a good zanshin after the strike. Here's one point that a lot of people make mistakes. Make sure you hit the kote far from your body. This is a bad example. You're, since the kote is closer to yourself, your arms tend not to straight, and then you end up hitting the kote in a very close position. Make sure your arms are well stretched. Douji, part one. There are two different ways of hitting the door. First of all, you hit the door and go through the left side of the opponent. It's the same way as hitting the man or kote. Go up straight and strike the target. You're not hitting the stomach of the opponent, but you're actually hitting the liver, which is the vital point. Make sure after you hit, since you go to the left side, you turn clockwise. So you're not gonna show the back to the one. Your shinai and foot has to strike at the same time. Douji Part 2 if you bring your left foot the uh, left hand closer to the right hand it's slightly no! when you turn around make sure you turn counterclockwise so you're not gonna face the opponent face your back to the opponent
very important point when you strike the door is that you strike the door, not the front of the door, but the side of the door. It's the same as the cote, you have to straight hold your hands and your wrist so you can hit the door in the proper way. You hit the side of the door and then go through. Morotezuki. Next one is the Morotezuki. It's the ski with the both hands. Important point here is that you're not hitting with your arms, but you're hitting with your hip. From a far distance, take one step to get the right distance and then hit the ski at once with the body. The Zanshin is not like the man where you go to, but just stop. Again, the time of the impact of the ski, the shinai, and your feet has come together. Here I'm gonna show you a bad example by hitting with your arm. If you try to hit with your arm, your body is gonna stay back and you're not gonna get an accurate strike. Sure, you go with your body. We're gonna do some combination hits. First, starting with kote men. The important thing about the combination hits is that your body moves together. When you tend to hit strikes in a consecutive way, you tend to forget about your feet and your body and just try to hit with your hands, but that's not right. You have to hit always with your body. Keep your back straight and hit in a proper way. Since this is a big motion hit, make sure you bring your hand up. Here we're gonna show in slow motion the strike of the Kotemen. Make sure, look at this sample here. My shinai and the feet are striking at the same time. My body is going straight and kicking with your left foot. Once you hit the kote, then you have to bring your left foot quickly so you can follow for the next man. Again with your body straight and this time you're hitting the man with the right area of the shinai, tip of the shinai. You can see again that my body is straight. And then I'm taking a big step for the kote, uh, for the man also. This is actually a pointer for the person who's receiving. Since this is a basic exercise, the person who's receiving has to make the mai in the correct position. The person receiving just stays standing at the same spot. The strike for the man is gonna get too close. So make sure to take one big step back so the person who's practicing can hit the man the right position of the shinai. Next, we're gonna do the kote do. Same as the kote men. Your body has to move straight and your left foot has to follow quickly. As I showed you before on the douji, you can bring your left foot, the left hand closer to your right hand by sliding over the tsuka. 
so you can rotate your Shinai over your head quickly. No! To Kotemen or Kotedo, these are just some of the examples of a combination of, of the Kote, Men, Do, Uchi. You can make any combination as you like. But make sure always the body straight. Kirikaeshi. Next, I'm gonna explain about Kirikaeshi. Kirikaeshi is one of the most important exercises in Kendo. It combines a variety of techniques, breathing, my thinking, everything is incorporated in Kirikaeshi. Please make sure to learn Kirikaeshi in properly. First of all, you do a big Kiai, big motion man, one step man. As soon as you do the Tayatari, you take a big breath and take four steps forward, hitting the uh, side of the man from the right to the left and five steps back. After hitting the five men, make sure you break the eye. From there, take one step in and hit the man. This is the only time you're gonna be breathing again. Take a big breath and then do the same thing again. Four steps forward, five steps back. Keep your breath. Keep your breath still, don't breathe. Strike the last man. Keep a big Kiai until you turn around. And this is the end of the Kirikaishi. From a different angle, this is just one set of Kirikaishi. sure that every time you do the Kirikaishi, you think about every detail of the movements. If you can do the Kirikaishi properly, your Kendo is going to improve very fast. Same as any other movement in Kendo. Make sure your back straight, big motion, bring your left foot over your head and strike the position of the men at 45 degrees. Make sure when you do the Tayatari, you do the proper way. Don't push the opponent with your hands. You gotta push the opponent with your hips. After the last man, a good zanshin until you turn around. When you hit the man in the Kikash, you're hitting consecutively both sides of the man at 45 degrees angle. Even though the opponent's protecting the shinai, you have to still imagine that you're hitting the man of the opponent. The person who's receiving, make sure you receive close to your man not too far from the man. Another point is the Tayatari. Tayatari is a very important part of the Kirikaishi. Make sure when you do Tayatari, don't move back. You have to first get the push from the opponent. And then, because of the push, you go back. Don't go back from the beginning. This is also the exercise for the person who's receiving, not just the person who's hitting. But by being able to receive the Tayatari in the proper way, your Kendo is gonna improve and you can uh, make your hips stronger. Oh! 
next point is the last man. You hit the last man of the Kirikaish and you're gonna go back to break the Mai. A lot of people, they walk after the last Kirikaish hit. That's wrong. You have to take the normal candle step. Make sure you break the distance and then hit a big man. A lot of people, they don't break the distance, they want to hit quick and they end up hitting quickly, but then you're hitting with too close. So make sure that you break the eye then hit the man with the proper part of the shot. Because you're hitting the side of the man, a lot of people tend to hit with the left hand outside of the center of the body. Every hit in Kendo, your left hand has to be in the middle of the, your body. Even when you hit the toe, your left hand is still in the middle of the body. When you hit the sides of the man, you have to bring your Schnei up straight and bring it down straight, not swinging the Schnei over your head. Try to swing your shinai over the head, that's when your left hand is gonna come off the center. Hit with your left hand in the center precisely both sides of the neck. Once you have mastered the Kirikaish slowly, the next step is to try to do this Kirikaishi as fast as you can. Make sure you're still doing the big motion. It's just that every strike is faster. Also, if you try to do this in one breath, that'd be great. But maybe at, at the most two breaths. By doing that, you can build up your stamina and also increase your techniques. As you can see, in slow motion, the motions are exactly the same as the slow kikaishi. It's just fast. The person who's receiving has to always guide the person who's striking so that it's easy for the striker to do a Good Kirikaish. Here's a different angle. You can see that my hands are still going up, although the strikes are fast. Now that you have mastered the big motion wazas, now we're gonna go into smaller techniques. We're gonna do the same man, pote, do, but hitting the smaller way. For example, here you're hitting small men. The important thing is you hit small quickly, but 
keeping the same basics as before, keeping your body straight, keeping your dancing, and make sure when you hit, it's kick and tight. Take one step to get close to the opponent, and when you're at the right distance, hit the man quickly. Take one step, hit the man. When you hit this man, make sure your feet and hand hit together at the same time. If you compare this picture with the picture of me hitting the big man, it probably looks the same. My body is straight, I'm kicking with the left foot, and the shinai and the feet are landing at the same time. And keep the zanshin until you turn around. When people try to hit smaller waza, they tend to hit quickly. And when you tend to hit quickly, you tend to hit with your arms, which makes you lose your balance, and then as a result, your hit is not going to be as well. Make sure your body goes in straight and use your wrist to hit the man. Now we're gonna do the small kote. As I said before, kote is the closest target to you. So all you need is just use your wrist quickly, bring your body in quickly, and hit the kote and go through the ball. It's like a snake catching a small rabbit. It's really quick. If you do it slow, then the opponent, you're gonna give a chance for the opponent to counter attack. Small doji. The important thing here is that you cannot show to the opponent that you're going for the door. It's like hitting the man and at the last minute you switch to, to the door. You're gonna hit the side of the door and then go through the right side of the opponent. Make sure you keep a good zanshin, keep your left hand on the shinai, and keep turn around. When you hit the door, you have to pressure the left eye of the opponent, so that the opponent is going to lift the hand. That's, that's your chance to hit the ball. Another thing is, bring your left hand close to your right hand and use your wrist. That way you can strike the ball much faster than using your arm. Next one is the katate zuki. Katate zuki means hitting the tsuki with your one hand, with your left hand. Important thing here is that you're not gonna be hitting the tsuki with your arm, but you're hitting with your body. Make sure you get to the right distance. And quickly use your left hand to hit the proper target of the bullet. After hit, you have to release it really quick. If you try to hit 
kind of easy way, then you're gonna end up missing. So make sure when you hit the ski, you hit it strong. And quick. Your right hand, you have to bring it to your wrist. When you strike the ski, you have to bring your right hand to your hip. I'm gonna show here some of the bad examples that a lot of people do. First of all, if you're trying to hit with your arm, you're gonna keep end up keep missing. You have to bring your right hand to your hip and hit with your hip. Don't put your arm to the sides. You should bring your right hand the front of your body. Next, it's a combination of a small kotemen. It's the same way as the big kotemen, you have to bring your left foot quickly in order to hit the kotemen. The secret of hitting a fast kotemen is not your fast swing or fast movement. It's basically how fast you can bring your left foot quickly after the first kotemen. Your hits, your hand strikes should be using your wrist, not your arms. If you use your arms, then you're gonna slow down your movement. And you're gonna show to the opponent that you're coming to hit. Here's a slow motion of quick kotame. First, I take a step in, hit the kote. When I hit the kote, my left foot is already coming just behind my right foot. So I'm ready to transfer the next movement to the man. You can see that my left hand and right hand are both straight, hitting the target, kote. The next one is the man. As soon as I hit the kote and my left foot behind my right foot, I'm already taking the next step to go for the man. And that's the secret to hit the fast kote man. Kote man is also effective, not just for when you want to hit kote man, but also if you know the opponent is coming for kote, then you can hit a kote man at the same time. So you're protecting yourself just before hitting the man. This is a bad example of hitting a soft kote man. You have to make sure you hit a solid kote so you can get a solid man afterwards. If you take an easy kote, then your man is also not gonna be perfect. Next one is the Men Kotemen Uchikomi. Men Kotemen Uchikomi is like a drill where you can build up your stamina and also learn the good techniques of hitting Kotemen the proper way. One point here is that you're gonna be going uh, five times, uh, three times men and two times Kotemen. Try to do this all in one breath and make sure the last man is a big man. One point for the person who's receiving this, make sure you always make a good distance for the opponent so the opponent can turn around and hit right away, not too far, not too close. That's very important for the person who's receiving this exercise. Yeah. 
Karigeko is one of the toughest exercises in Kendo. You basically strike whatever the opening the receiver opens for you. And try to do this in one breath. So maybe you get 5 to 10 strikes in one breath. But make sure you always hit the proper way and every hit you hit. Size strike. A strike that's be, that's gonna be counted as a point in the tournament. Again, it's very important for the receiver to keep a good distance to the opponent, so the opponent is always ready to hit. If you break too much distance, then the opponent you're giving the opponent a chance to rest. So make sure after the striker hits, you go to the right mind, so he's ready to hit right away. 